Hello and a warm welcome. I'm Alberto Flocazzi and I'd like to introduce you to our latest generation power feeder, the MT3000-3. From here, I have a very good overview of the whole material handling process. The seat can be adjusted and swiveled out entirely to suit my requirements. giving me a great view forward to the mix truck and back to the paver and conveyor. Let's take a look at the Dash 3 operating console now. Starting with Pave Dock Assistant. Pave Dock Assistant allows me to give the truck driver clear instructions using the signal lights. The automatic Auto Set Plus function has now also been integrated. To reposition the machine conveniently, we now switch to repositioning mode. We then press the Execute button. This moves up the deflector plates and the material hopper. The same applies to the transport position. Simply switch to transport mode. Press the Execute key. The hopper sides move together, the suspension for the pivoting conveyor moves down and the machine is ready for transport on a low loader. Auto Set Plus has another interesting function. The handling programs function can be used to save favorite settings at the touch of a button and then call them back up at any time like this one here, for example. The program, which has already been saved, can be used to reset the machine to its factory defaults or to prepare it for use with the inline pave train. To make work easier for machine operators and service engineers, Fergola has color-coded all the important servicing points. They are easy to recognize easily accessible and easy to adjust, as you can clearly see here. Let's take a look at the new transfer hopper of the belt system. This is now hinged, making it easy to clean from this large step. We now come to a really key point of the new Dash 3 material feeder, namely optimization of the material handling concept. The large material hopper with the broad push rollers provides enough space to allow mixed trucks to dock quickly and easily. During night working, these reflectors give the truck driver additional guidance. The receiving area at the front here has been enlarged by moving the augers and the feed area back a little way. This means that the first batch of mix drops here first, rather than directly onto the conveyor belt. Mix trucks can be unloaded more quickly. And another great thing is that the feed area is completely sealed, so that there is hardly any soiling here now. All Fergola material feeders transfer mix at the correct temperature, from the first to the last truckload. The belt heating, whose control has once again been completely overhauled and revised, helps with this. As a result, the mix remains at temperature throughout the whole paving process. Yet the heating system also uses much less fuel, reducing operating costs and of course also being kinder to the environment. Another thing, many countries are paving more and more low temperature asphalt and the belt heating of Fergola material feeders makes them ideal for this method. In summary, it should be said that Fergola power feeders are as powerful as always and more convenient than ever.
If you would like more information about the technology and the range of applications of this new generation of material feeders, why not visit our website? Und in diesem Sinne, and so farewell. Tschüss, goodbye, au revoir, ciao, adios y hasta la próxima. Euer Alberto.